Welcome to Think Global Education Services. We will be looking at pronouns rule today. This is for the SAT writing section. We've already covered the subject verb agreement rule in our previous video. Let's move on to the similar type of questions, but when they test you on not subject verb agreement, but based on pronoun error. <clears throat> First of all, what do you understand by pronoun? Ask yourself. As the name itself suggests, pronoun. You know, so it has to do something with the noun. Well, to put it in words, when we have to replace a noun, we need a word for it. When we don't want to overuse nouns, we need a word for it. And that word is called pronoun. For example, if I say, um, Lily is uh, going to school. Lily will be doing well. Lily listens to the teacher carefully. So Lily is doing all the three things and I'm using the word Lily again and again. If I were to replace that word with something else, for example, she's going to school, then this she is the pronoun. Now, once we know what the pronoun is, and SAT knows that we know what the pronoun is, so it's not going to ask you what is the pronoun. The, there are basically four different things that can go wrong with, wrong with pronoun and that's what they test you on. Let's look at the first one. So antecedent, which means that I need to know who am I talking about. Let's look at the sentence. I go to school with Jack, Jane, and Honey. So I'm going to school with three people. However, on Tuesday, he came late. Who came late? Who's this he? We don't know who's this he. Yes. So this he should refer to something. We should know who did not come. Um, or who came late on Tuesday. Yes, my pronoun should have something to go back to. Or if the sentence simply says, she's late to school, but there is no prior sentence that talks about she or later sentence that talks about she. If I don't know who's that she. If I say, they give discount to every third customer, who's they? All these sentences are incorrect. In spoken English, we know that the moment I say they give discount, I'm probably pointing out at somebody. But that's not how it works in written English. The moment I've said they give discount, I don't know who's they, so it's grammatically incorrect sentence, and I will not accept that sentence on SAT. All right, so we'll, we'll remember this. One thing to be clear, for pronoun to exist, a noun has to be there. All right, let's move on to the second problem that can occur. Agreement. A pronoun should agree yeah, with the noun. Mary. So we're talking about Mary. We have the noun. Mary went to the store. We know that Mary is some singular person who went to the store. They wanted ice cream. Now, because who wanted ice cream? They? Who's this they? Now, there is no they, no plural uh, noun present here. And that's why this is incorrect. It has to be she wanted ice cream. So it needs to agree. The third problem, which many people, you know, they don't even realize that it's a problem, is called ambiguity. The word ambiguity in itself means that there's some confusion. Something is not clear. In this case, pronoun should not be unambiguous at all. Look at the center. The book is on the table and sorry there needs to be a comma and it has a beautiful cover now the book is on the table and it so i have a pronoun here this is my pronoun it has a beautiful cover okay so i'm, I'm pretty sure many people will say that okay it has a beautiful cover means the book has a beautiful cover but Look at it very carefully. My pronoun rule said that pronoun is anything that refers to noun, right? It does not say that pronoun is anything that refers to subject. It refers to noun. In this case, here is a noun. I'm sorry. In this case, here is one noun and here is another noun. I have two nouns here. So why did I assume that it goes to the subject? That's not the rule which means that it has a beautiful cover. The table can have beautiful cover and the book can have beautiful cover, right? So this it is incorrect. 
How would you correct it? I would like you to pause this video here and think, how would you correct this error? Actually, there are two ways to correct the error. Now, let's say my sentence is underlined over here. So, SET will give you some underlined part and you have to correct it that way. So, you will simply replace this it with book. The book is on the table and the book has a beautiful cover. Easy? Another way. Now, let's say this part is not underlined. Let's assume that this part is underlined. Now, this is a difficult question. So see, what SAT does is, in order to give you a difficult question, it will just change the place of underline. Yeah. Now, I want you to again pause the video and ask yourself, the book is on the table and it has a beautiful cover. What could be the correct answer? Can I say the book is on the table and um, uh, the book has beautiful cover? No, because it is not underlined. So if it's not underlined, you can't change it. Right now, and it has a beautiful cover remains as it is. So what do we do? The, the book is on a beautiful cover table and it has beautiful cover. That will make it ambiguous. The uh, beautiful cover book is on the table and it has a beautiful cover. It also makes it redundant. You know, so I don't want to repeat the content as well. So I'm sure you must have thought about a lot of things of correcting it. Let's see how do we do it. So I know that this it is a singular pronoun and singular pronoun always refers back to singular noun. Yes, let's look at it this way. Singular pronoun goes back to singular noun. I have two singular noun here. Book is singular noun and table is singular noun. So what if I make one of them plural? What if my sentence says singular pronoun, singular noun, and plural noun? In that case, my singular pronoun will only refer to singular noun, not to plural noun. So, instead of saying the book is on the table and it has a beautiful cover, I can simply say the books are on the table and it has a beautiful cover so that means this it can only refer to table there is no ambiguity in that case right i hope you've understood this part singular pronoun can refer to singular noun it cannot refer to plural noun and that way the ambiguity error can be solved easily okay let's move on to the next rule now our next rule is pronoun case which case is it subject object possessive or reflective a pronoun exists in three different forms. I is the subject case pronoun. You is the subject case pronoun because the, this is how we start the subject. I am going there. You are lucky. One needs to study. So all of these are subject. Object case. What is it acting upon? Um, the chips were enjoyed by me. So my subject was chips and enjoyed by me. Look at this carefully. You and one in subject and object case remain the same. They don't change. Possessive case, I have it to myself, is mine. Yeah. And reflective is myself. So if somebody tells you, um, let, let's say my name is Deepthi. So if I have to say myself, Deepthi, that's incorrect. That's definitely incorrect. Yes, because subject has to be talked about. I am Deepthi. Myself, Deepthi is just not correct introduction. Okay, now what does SET do? We, we, we are of course not going to be asked to fill in the blanks with these. What does SET do? SET give you something, would give you something like this. Jane and me went for the movie. Well, this me is supposed to be the object case, but it's been discussed as the subject case here because we're talking about what's the subject in the sentence. We're talking about Jane and this person who's you yeah so instead of me i need to use i jane and i went for the movie not me the movie if i make movie the subject the movie was seen by jane and me absolutely correct no problem then okay so my subject case and object case in pronoun needs to be taken care of we'll do more questions of this type like all of these types in uh, our next few videos where we'll discuss the real SET paper. 
For now, let's look at a few sentences and we'll try to spot the error if there is any error. Okay, so we'll read each each sentence carefully. In this, in these eight sentences, nothing is underlined. So we have to read it very carefully. But on your test, you will already have something underlined. So you will be focusing only on this part. Okay, there might be one or two sentences in the passage that are not grammatically correct, but they're not underlined. So you don't have to correct them, just ignore them. Okay, so on your test, you will read only the underlined part. Let's look at these to learn the rule more. As the melon farmers drove their crops, so wherever I have pronoun, let's focus there. As the melon farmers drove their crops, so we're talking about farmers, their refers to farmers, crops to the market. So there has no problem. They, next is they, next pronoun. They were dismayed. Melon farmers, noun, crops, noun. Can I use they? They were dismayed. Were the crops dismayed or the melon farmers dismayed? We don't know. So that's the error. Now we need to make sure that my pronoun is not ambiguous, but in this case it is. So who's dismayed? The farmers. I need to write the word farmers to find that they were infected. Once again, they were infected. You wrote the word farmer here. Were the farmers infected? No. Farmers were not infected. The crops were. So we need to put the word crops here. Farmers were dismayed. Crops were infected with fruit flies. Okay. Let's move further. The commerce department, so we're talking about one department, which usually, comma and which means I'm referring to the department, usually mm -hmm. does not make any official announcements until after the budget is ratified. So uh, from here till here, a sentence between two comma is usually just extra information. What are we actually talking about is what comes after this, after the comma. Okay, so sentence between two comma means extra information. This information goes to commerce department. We yet don't have the subject verb agreement or any pronoun agreement here. Let's see. The commerce department announced, we have a verb, we have the subject, no problem here, that their, look at this, their accounting practices would be overhauled next year. Now, Look at this. There. Who's accounting practice? There is plural. Who is plural here? Anyone plural? No. I was talking about the commerce department. And this there is a plural pronoun which cannot refer to a single a singular noun. Coming back to our rules. We said that we need to have the correct agreement. Yes. Pronoun agreement. So this has to be it it's sorry the commerce department which usually does whatever announced that it's accounting practices ids accounting practices okay next one now if you read these two sentences without focusing on pronouns which we know are tested by a city you'll probably have sound good approach and it'll sound correct to you because commerce department and there is so far off it'll sound absolutely correct and that's how SAT will trap you. And this is what we are going to be saving ourselves from, not going for a trap and getting the correct answer on the real test. Let's look at next. Enrico and Simon have no idea how valuable their father's antique desk is. There is plural. Enrico and Simon is connected with the word and, which also makes the subject plural. So if the subject is plural, pronoun is plural, there is no problem with this sentence. Let's go further. Okay, now next now for this is a psychological difference. Sorry, there is a psychological difference between people who do their taxes, who do their taxes, that means pay the tax, their people. Difference, nothing else. People, one noun, their, plural, both agree with each other. As soon as they receive, people receive all form and those, 
who wait until the very last minute. You look at this. We were talking about people and their goes with each other. The moment we said they and those, which our mind keeps telling us that it refers to people. Yes, because people is the only noun. But look at it very carefully. I have taxes also. Until this there, I had only one noun. But then I have taxes. As soon as, so who do their taxes? As soon as taxes receive all the forms and taxes who wait. Now that is a problem. So because of these tax, the word taxes, I need to change this they to people. People who do their taxes as soon as people receive the forms. And those, now this, those will go back to people because that's, that's what we were talking about now. Okay, so this they needs to be replaced by a noun. Let's look at the next one. Neither Alice nor Betty, two people, we remember the subject and verb agreement rule that this, this, whatever comes after nor, becomes your subject, could figure out why they. Now, both of them did not fail because this is what your noun is. Sorry, this is what your subject is. So, this they is also incorrect. If you're, if you're having a hard time understanding why is this the subject, please refer to the subject verb agreement video where we have explained neither and nor rule. Yeah. So this they over here is also incorrect. Let's look at the next one. Every employee, sorry, this. Every employee bought there. Again, in the last session in the last subject verb agreement video we discussed that wherever you use every that becomes your singular subject so this there which is plural is incorrect every employee bought his or her softball next mathematics is his favorite subject he finds it very interesting Mathematics is singular. It has S, but it is singular. He finds it. The moment I say it, I know that I'm talking about mathematics, which is singular, so it's correct. However, the sentence has some error. Now, in case this sentence is followed, uh, is uh, uh, either followed by or uh, preceding something, which has this he, the reference to he it'll be correct but if nothing is given prior or later in your passage then this his and he do not represent anything i need the i need a noun that goes back to these two pronouns okay so over here i'll leave it as it is because there is a possibility that prior this sentence there is a sentence in the passage which talks about noun or later there is a uh, noun present in the sentence. Let's move on to the next one. After the accident took place, neither the passengers nor the policemen were able to catch the bus driver. So we're talking about accident. Neither the passengers nor the policemen. So you see neither nor rule, the same one over here. Neither the passengers, which is plural, but our subject is the policeman, one person, because we're talking about nor and this becomes a subject. The policemen were, that's incorrect. We need to say was, was able to catch the bus driver. All right. So this was a quick recap to all the rules that we were explaining over here. Let's do a real time question now. Okay. Now, before I solve the question, I want you to again, pause the video, solve these two by yourself, have your answer ready, and then proceed further with looking at how to solve them okay here we go the average weekly wage nearly doubled in this year rising from this to this yet the average worker ended the decade with a decrease in what their pay me buy now let's see there let's target all the there okay there they both are plural they plural and nothing okay so i have three plural and then nothing so three plural pronoun should refer to some plural noun 
what their pay may buy. So let's find where is the plural noun. The average weekly wage nearly doubled. Any plural thing? No. From this to this, nothing plural. Yet the average worker, we're talking about average worker. Is worker plural? No, that's singular. So if worker is singular, what are these three going back to? We don't know. So quite simple, right? Three options are simply out. Were you able to get the correct answer? And was this your approach? If so, you're going great. Yeah, the average worker ended the decade with a decrease in purchasing power. We don't need the they or there. D is the answer. Yeah, let's look at the second one now. The United States Navy announced, so we're talking about US Navy, that's the subject. Beginning next year, they plan to, once again, they plan to close several of their bases. So they and their bases, so something plural. Yes, do I have anything plural? Yes, United States, plural, it has S, but is it plural? No, is Navy plural? No, it's a collective noun. Collective noun, Navy may have number of people, but it's one, yeah, so it's singular. Now let's go to the options. They option goes out. They option goes out. Do we spend time reading all this? No, we don't. Do we spend time reading these? Yes, we do. <laughs> let's see. It plans to close several of its bases versus their bases. Who's closing the bases? The Navy is closing the bases. So should it be its bases or their bases? Well, I'm pretty sure you all know the answer now. So the there goes off and sees the answer. Easy? Pronouns are easy. The only thing you have to do is scan very carefully because it's very easy to go for a trap answer just using your sound good approach. We'll keep it till here for today. Thank you for watching video from Think Global Education Services. I'll see you in the next video with more rules.